Hey, this is Matt with Texas Plant Soil Lab, and this video is all about soil sample bags. So the soil sample bags come in two different varieties. There is the pre-printed brown paper bag that comes from Texas Plant Soil Lab, and it has on it a printed form of exactly the information you need to write down. These are available in the return mailer kits, which we sell at a retail markup from the website. And they're also available in single units. You can buy one or as many as you want at a dollar a piece, and that includes shipping and handling. But if you're like me, you're saying, Matt, I don't want to pay full retail for a mail-in kit. I don't want to give you a dollar for a little paper bag. So we're going to let you know how you can do it yourself with a one-quart size plastic resealable bag that you probably already have in your kitchen. Now when I say resealable plastic bag, you may not know exactly what I'm talking about. They are more popularly known under the brand name of Ziploc or Quick Lock, but any store brand, any private label plastic bag will do. You're going to need one quart because you need to stick at least two cups of dried soil sample in it. You have to have plenty of room. Now before you stick your soil sample in your plastic bag, you're going to want to take a black magic marker and in the bottom half of the bag, you're going to write your name, you're going to write your order number, you're going to write your phone number, and if you're sending in more than one soil sample, you're going to want to give it a unique name, something that identifies it for you to the place that you took the soil sample. This name should also be registered on your soil sample submittal sheet so that the laboratory knows which sample belongs with which line item. Now it's easiest to write all of this down on the plastic bag before you put the soil sample in it. You can spread it out flat on a table or a surface top. And also very important is to remember to not put your paperwork inside your soil sample bag. Your soil sample bag should only have your soil sample. The sample paperwork and your printout of your order is going to be enclosed on the outside in the box. Whether you're using the paper pre-printed bag available from Texas Plant Soil Lab or whether you're using the resealable plastic bag to put your soil sample inside, once you have your soil inside the bag, you want to press out the top. You press all the air out of the top seal the bag, and then roll it down towards the bag away from the side that you printed on. And this is going to give you a little wound up seal close to the body of the bag. You're then going to take a piece of packing tape and run that along the length of the seal as an extra measure of security for keeping that bag closed during shipment. Also very important in the do-it-yourself category is not to make the same mistake that I made and think to yourself, gee Matt, those Texas Plant and Soil Lab pre-printed bags are just little brown paper sacks. I can go down to the grocery store and get little produce bags that are the exact same size and write my information on it and send it in in those. This is not the case. Do not do this. The Texas Plant and Soil Lab bags that you can order from us online have a moisture barrier inside to protect the bag from the little bit of moisture that's still inside your unperfectly dried soil sample. If you send these soil samples in a regular paper grocery sack that is not treated for moisture, it will corrode and biodegrade the paper bag before it even arrives at Texas Plant Soil Lab. So that's everything you need to know about soil sample bags. If you want to use the brown pre-printed bags that are available from Texas Plant and Soil Lab, whether you're working with mini samples in the field or you just want to work with the organized symmetry, you can get those through the return mailer kits that we sell at a retail markup online, or you can buy the bag singly at a dollar a piece, and that includes shipping and handling. If you don't want to spend the extra money or you've only got the one soil sample to send in, you want to be sure and use a one quart plastic resealable bag. You want to write your name, your phone number, your order number, and your soil sample name on the bag while it's still empty and you can flatten it out on a dry surface. You want to be sure you don't include the paperwork inside your soil sample bag. And you want to make sure that you roll down the soil sample bag till all of the air is out of it and 
you seal it with some sort of plastic packing tank. Review any of our other videos for more how-tos on getting your samples to Texas Plant Soil Lab. Doesn't matter what the plant, doesn't matter where the soil, you gotta go to Texas. Texas Plant Soil Lab.